check out the newest releases from Creature Caster. Spiky bits. What's up, hobby maniacs? I'm Rob Bear, and today we're gonna take a look at the newest releases from Creature Caster. We have the new Lord of Metamorphosis and the Lady of Arcana. The Lady of Arcana is the newest in the female releases from Creature Caster. Now she is um, about six inches tall when you get the model all finished up. I think it's about 22 parts altogether. Has options for both hands, uh, two sword weapons, one staff, and also an open kind of fingered type thing here where she's like kind of I guess just motioning out maybe casting a spell or something like that a couple of different head options as well the creepy um multiple eye kind of pan lambereth kind of type head right here along with a kind of even creepier no eyed version here and I think it was a normal wasn't there a normal head maybe I'm speaking maybe those are the only two versions Yep, looks like those were the only two versions. I thought there was a normal head too, but I guess not. Been reviewing these things. I can't remember a time when I wasn't reviewing Creature Casters and new miniatures. They put out so much stuff. It's crazy. I love the different looks, how they take all sorts of crazy liberties. Look at these wings here. Now, these are different from some of the wings we've seen in the past from them. I mean, look in here. This is crazy amounts of detail work in here on each of the feathers very very crazy i mean they just did so much work in here and then the, the hands with the little claws and the eye the pans around lambereth eyes in there as well and then all of these crazy eye stalks going up and down the miniature itself i mean it's just all sorts of craziness amazing amazing work and then the base is kind of um a little bit bigger than what we're used to but this will definitely fit on a 60 mil base I can tell you just by sizing it up there. And then the hands are uh, the normal canter type deal. And then this piece is going to go here. Same with the Lord of Metamorphosis is going to have a part of its uh, flames that are going to come up out of the uh, uh, out of the base itself. Now let's jump over to the website. Check out what is happening over there on CreatureCaster.com. I'm not sure if these are... Let's see. Yep, she is available for order right here. So this gives you... A better idea of what she looks like $78 Canadian so that's about mm, low 60s US I think going to ship on oh so there's still some pre pre-releases left gonna ship out on January 1st I'm not sure when this video is going out it's towards the beginning of December right now so at some point this may not be correct so always check their site for the most up-to-date information and you can see here all the different parts there's your 22 different parts all laid out in order and then you can see the different hand weapons give you an idea of what she'll look like there she is motioning with the with the sword arm up on the right side right there so very very cool looking miniature let's take a look at her all assembled now that actually went together pretty well believe it or not uh, they were getting way better at their molds and the quality of the cast here and I really like the new three-dimensional kind of feel to these two releases here now this one has the crazy demon ectoplasm eye stalks kind of swirling out and around it and then what you're about to see with the lord of metamorphosis he has uh, some flames coming out from the base there too and some crazy i don't even know what those are demon leg kind of things so you can see that's a piece right there you've got a piece midway down through here so you're going to want to add because this is a little bit more of a Mm, ambitious design I guess you could say you're gonna want to have your Vallejo plastic putty ready so that you can get in there and putty those cracks and then file those down once it dries it should only take about three or four hours for that stuff it's amazing amazing stuff get this stuff in the, the uh, toothpaste tube a little bit bigger of a crack right there but not too bad again this is easily filled do not use liquid green stuff you will infuriate yourself Trust me, Vallejo Plastic Putty is the way to go to fill all gaps these days. I can 100% tell you it changed my hobby life. <laughs> so here's the wings, like I was saying, amazing detail. You can see, look, look at all the cuts into each feather right there. That would just infuriate me, sculpting that. I hope they did that <laughs> with computers, because man, holy cow, look at all the runes in the sword. Everything they come out with 
is better and better quality. Like, I'm not going to say it's better or worse than stuff like Forge World or Games Workshop, but I think they're really starting to kind of distance themselves and put them, maybe not distance themselves, but put them in a different category altogether as a really, really robust and very well detailed boutique miniature that's made from the same quality materials that we've all come to know and love from Games Workshop and Forge World. And then right there you can see all the horns, so two pieces there, the, head, the choice of heads. I like the choice of sword or staff. Um, you can do the open hand right here, or you can do the sword as well. So, Lady Arcana available now. Well, right now when we're recording. She may not be available when you guys see this, but I'm sure she will come out to general release at some point in January 2018. Now remember, Creature Caster, they're only like a two-year-old company. One, one and a half, something like that, after the Kickstarter. So they're still a very, very young company. And to be putting out, you know, at least a release every month, they are definitely on the fast track to be something that we look back and be like, hey, I remember when those guys started out. Look at all the stuff they do now. Next up, of course, is the Lord of Metamorphosis. Another... I think roughly 23 part kit that has options for uh, both hands. You can make him with a staff or a sword or motioning with this hand right here. But unlike the Lady of Arcana, he has six hands. So he's got these like crazy wing hand scythe, one scythe, one hand thing. Uh, crazy daggers want to be like, he kind of reminds me of the thing from the, <laughs> the famous John Carpenter movie that's kind of morphing. I mean, on this right here, he's got bat wings. Like, so I guess technically he has eight arms, but this one's technically molded into what I guess would be the body, but there's a bunch of tentacles underneath here or something with like some vertebrae that attaches to this armor. So crazy demon armor type deal or some sort of shapeshifter armor. All of these are the ports where the arms go. So you're gonna have the upper uh, bigger arms right here going underneath here actually excuse me no those go out like that these are the ones that kind of hang down and they're the actual casting arms and such and then the little ones jut out from the sides like these um, tentacle type arms so this is kind of kind of a lot going on here <laughs> to be honest I, I like it it's it's very it's very avant-garde like I really like how they keep doing all this air quotes crazy stuff but it's not crazy, it's just like, oh, it, it's, you know, it'll speak to you or it won't speak to you. I like this model, I think it's pretty neat. Um, I like the styling of it. I actually really, really like this head and it comes with a couple of different um, horn options right there. You can kind of see a little bit better, get it in a focus, but it's kind of like the Lord of Strife or Lord of Slaughter rather. rather. Uh, I really dig that head, but then this head's kind of cool too. It goes along maybe more with the, the creepy like unpredictable shapeshifter kind of feel to this so I don't know I don't know what this is supposed to be but I suppose the beauty is it could be almost anything right so let's jump over to their site and find out a little bit more about it uh, like I said mm. oh there's the lady of Arcana so we'll go back to this I think is sold out right now when we're making the video. This was originally on pre-order and I think they filled, they sold all 100 and they're shipping out. They'll be going out next week it looks like. But you can kind of get an idea of some of the different poses. There's that head I was just talking about with uh, the crazy horns and everything. Looks very much like the Lord of Slaughter. But then it's kind of like he just morphed this bottom but he has like bat wings and like eight hands but they're doing different things. And then you've got the flames. I really like how the flames are the separate pieces. Here you can see the loadout for all the parts you'll get. In the kit, you get the two extra flames right here that snap onto the base around the bottom. Over here's your uh, hands, the lower hands, the upper hands, and then the actual motion hands that are built from these two pieces here that connect together at the elbow. I think he was right around $74 as well. So probably around low 60s 
for United States currency. And here you can see he is only about five inches tall or about 12 centimeters. So he's about an inch smaller than the Lady Arcana. So let's get ours built and take a closer look. I definitely like him. Look at this crazy, crazy demon clone <laughs> mimic thing. I don't I don't even know what to call him, but he's dope. He, you could use him for anything. Oh, and I didn't glue this part on. I actually probably should snap that off because paint, painting the flame would be a lot easier if this isn't connected. So here you can see that crazy ass. Like I said, with the Lady of Arcana, they're really going for this dynamic kind of posing and I like that. I like all, look at all the, the flames sculpted there, all the vertebrae and everything, the detail in the bat wings, like all of this, the detail on the, the demon or the bone carapace armor, all of the detail on the head, like this stuff is legit. Like they are really coming on strong all the tentacles and things up there, the scythe reminds me of a sliver from Magic the Gathering. Very, very cool stuff, and I like how they kind of alternated the hand here, the hand here, the kind of like spikes and scythes and such. We gave him a little sword, and he's kind of casting, kind of <laughs> kind of type deal. I really dig this model. Like, I think Creature Caster is really coming on strong with their winter releases here, and judging by how they design these. I can't wait to see what they have in store for everybody with uh, the next wave of stuff that they come out with being how we know that the demon book will be out for Warhammer 40k uh, in just about one month so who knows what they have planned for that. That ought to be pretty fun to see what's inspiring them now and going forward after that comes out so like i said this is about five inches tall lady of arcana is about six inches tall that you can see here there is about an inch in between them they're both going to fit on 60 millimeter bases so don't worry about that if that's your thing and you got a basin well you can if you just want to paint them up put them on the you know the shelf or whatever or in your display case hey you can do that too they've been uh sitting here for a few minutes on my paint desk so no worries there, they lay flat, everything's good to go. Just make sure you shave off uh, the bottom with all these, uh, you know, all the areas down here. So that is about it for this one. You can always check out Creature Caster over at CreatureCaster.com. They had a bundle deal going at Black Friday. I don't know what they'll be doing for the holiday sale coming up here around Christmas, but it's definitely worth a look if you're trying to save some cash on these models here. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. And turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all these features. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.